Good morning, Unicorns. Time for KWSE News. I'm Kimber. And I'm Eleanor. And, and today, today is Thursday, April 27th, 2023. It's the 145th day of school. Let's stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. At WSC, we reach for the stars. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. And now for some words of wisdom from Principal Bailey. Good morning. We've been talking about honesty and how important it is to be an honest person. Something that people do sometimes, there's a big word to describe it. It's called exaggerate. If you don't know what that word means, exaggerate means when you're talking about something, you make it bigger than it really was. So, and one way a person could exaggerate is if, say, a teacher asks you, tell me what happened. And when you tell the story, you make it bigger than it really was. Like maybe you may add some details, didn't really happen. Or maybe you may add some things, say somebody said something, and maybe those weren't exactly the words, but you're trying to make it seem worse or better. That's one way of being dishonest, is exaggerating. Try not to be a person that exaggerates stories because even though you think they don't know any better, they weren't there, they don't know that I'm being dishonest, over time people will start knowing, well, when she says that, as tells a story, she sometimes adds to it. She exaggerates. You don't want to be known as somebody that is dishonest and adds to a story or changes a story. So make up your mind if you repeat something to someone that somebody said or something that happened, you tell it as accurately as you can. And if you can't remember for sure, then say, mm, I don't remember for sure what they said exactly, but it was something like this. Never say, this is what they said, and then add things to it to make it seem better or worse. That's being dishonest. Don't be a person that exaggerates. There's some words of wisdom. Have a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. It's time for our words of the week. Our two well words this week are abundance and lack. We use a lot of oil and other fuels to run our cars and to generate electricity for our homes and businesses. If we lack the fuel we need, many of the things we take for granted won't be up and running. If you've ever had a power outage at your home, you know how much we depend on energy. One way to generate power is by harnessing the wind. Wind turbines have large blades that turn when the wind blows. Some places, such as near oceans and gulfs, there is an abundance of wind, so you might see some giant wind turbines in those places. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Walnut Springs Announcements on YouTube. Here are the lunch choices for tomorrow. Friday, April 28th, choice one, cheese pizza. Choice two, a sun butter and jelly sandwich. Choice three, turkey sandwich. And now for the birthdays. Thursday, April 27th. We have no birthdays to celebrate today. Bummer. It's time for the daily joke. Thursday, what did the seed say to the flower? Okay, bloomer. Here's what's happening. Next week will be our spring book fair. It's a literati secrets of the sea themed book fair. I love an ocean theme. Next week is also teacher appreciation week. Stay tuned for all the ways you can show your appreciation to all your teachers and all the hard work they do for us. Today is also Administrative Professionals Day. Shout out to our amazing office staff that help our school running smoothly. 
Hip hip for hooray to Miss Williamson, Mrs. Rodriguez, and Miss King. Thanks, ladies, for all you do. Thank you. In other news, Kinder will be showcasing their zoo projects tomorrow. This is Mrs. Holtz, and I'm here to talk to you about our virtual showcase. This is an opportunity for our third, fourth, and fifth graders at our school to share a skill or talent with our community. By Friday, April 28th, I need that form and video turned in by that day in order for your video to be considered and included in our final long compilation video that we're going to show at the end of the school year. All right, looking forward to seeing what you send in. Hey, field day's coming up, and you can order a field day t-shirt. Our spirit store is open. See the store number above, and orders are due today. Today, so order a, a WSE field day t-shirt today. Let's see what today's weather will be. Here's the weather for Thursday. The high for today is 82, and the low for today is 58. It's going to be partly cloudy. Stay tuned for Thinking Thursday. And have an awesome day, unicorns. Be, be safe, safe, respectful, and, and responsible. See you next time. Hi, everyone. It's Ms. Galicchio. It's Thinking Thursday. So here's your riddle for today. This one's a little bit different, so I hope you can figure it out. Make sure to put your answers in the Thinking Thursday box outside the library. Here's your riddle. Why did the tortilla chip start dancing? You're going to have to figure out that one. Why did the tortilla chip start dancing? Please turn off this presentation. Please turn off this presentation. Have a great day.